this is Stumpy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stumpy's a lovely world. Good morning, William Beaver. Good morning, Polly Reindeer. Uh, right then, you probably know what we're doing today. We are going to be continuing building my museum, and um. I did quite a lot between episodes. I'll show you, tell you what, I'll have my breakfast, I get sorted, I'll pick my dog, and then I'll explain all about it when we get over there. So, right, let's have my breakfast. Nom, 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 very tasty. Barnaby, you can stand up and join me. Secret is once again already over at the uh, the dog house, so we'll go and say hello to her in a, in a moment. Uh, but first, let me go down and add somebody to my love garden. So I'll go down to my ground floor of my love garden and uh, you know what like i have so much space here now like i can just carry on lovely like how many how many more episodes of lovely world is this i guess it's like four per sign and then there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen what's four times fourteen oh you know i'm not doing maths <laughs> someone in the comments could work out how many more episodes of lovely world i could do before we need to like add either like another basement or like <laughs> like a, a sky area for my love garden. a sky love garden that would be cool. Anyway, sorry, I'm getting distracted. All uh, right, to the love garden today, I'm adding Shadow Kitty, and uh, that is because uh, of this uh, absolutely adorable pitch they did, and uh, it's quite sad, but also quite happy, because it's the the three dogs that uh, that died recently, but then it's there, me kind of cuddled by secret, and it's nice because, like, even though the dogs are dead, they're kind of still with me, and I know I've added a, a few pictures that have been kind of based on this, but I thought this one was just so lovely, I had to add them in, so thank you so much for doing it, Shadow Kitty, and welcome to my love garden. So, right, speaking of Secret, uh, we go over and say hello to Secret today. I don't, I don't, I'm not going to choose having a shower. Oh, that's so weird. Look, it all, like, William almost looks 2D. If I go like this, it looks like he's just like a cardboard cutout of William Beaver. <laughs> William Beaver forgot to have his shower this morning and he was really, really smelly. So he's having a shower and I forgot my shower. So I had a, a little bath there, a <laughs> little jump in. <laughs> uh, right then. Uh, hello to Secret. I uh, hope you're doing okay. Uh, let's be joined by uh, Gregory Jr. You can uh, you can join us today. It's nice that you've... Um, Despite, uh, decided to spend some more time uh, over with us uh, in the uh, the doghouse rather than spending all of your time in the golf course. It'll be careful of the cactus. Be careful of the cactus. Be careful. Keep coming. Keep coming. Good boy. He's a he's a smart dog, isn't he? He, he was able to, to avoid the uh, the cactus. Oh, also, by the way, uh, in case anyone's been asking, I've done the uh, the new update. There was a new update recently, uh, which added a bunch of new things. Uh, I'll be honest, I haven't really looked in exactly to what all of the new things are. So it's probably going to take me a little while because I'm really slow uh, until I end up using some of the new stuff. But there's like new things we can craft, I think. Maybe on a crafting table. Um, why can it? Why does it show me pumpkin pie there? Oh, is it because I have one egg? So it just shows me it, but I can't make it. Anyway, yeah, so there are new things. And if you're thinking, uh, have I updated? I have. Uh, I just haven't used any of the other new things. But we did see a goat earlier. So uh, that was very exciting. I can't see any goats now, but there was a goat, I promise you. And it started <laughs> going up, up the track to me to the UFO. Uh, right then, uh, let's show what we're doing. So yeah, this is what we did the last episode. We built this front area. Uh, we did it wrong. I got the dimensions completely wrong. So we basically had to rebuild, like the front was okay, but we had to rebuild all of this wall. And I've kind of gone around and done all of the other walls around the back uh, as well. Um, so you can see that uh, in a little bit. So what I'm going to do is uh, for now, Gregory Jr., you can sit down here. I'm going to start off kind of showing you how the inside here is going to be. So what there's going to be is there's going to be uh, <gasps> a goat. There's a goat inside. Yay. <laughs> lock him in. Quick, lock him in. <laughs> friend. Be our friend, lovely goat. <laughs> how very exciting. They can jump really high as well. Oh, you, this is just this is just like the best day ever. Anyway, yeah, so uh, there's going to be, um, uh, yeah, andesite uh, going to go around the outside like this. And then, yeah, just like that. <laughs> the coats, I mean, let me have a look at this. And then on the inside here, we're going to do some uh, Ponish uh, granite. Uh, and then in the corners, we're kind of just going to go, oh, no, not like that. We're going to go in like this. Uh, and then all of this middle area uh, is going to be filled in as well. So if I build along there uh, like that. And then this section just goes like that. And then this goes down like that. And then, yeah, all of this middle area is going to be uh, filled in like that. And then this is going to be the whole way around. So it's going to go all the way around the outside here. So this is where my, my little original house is. So we're going to leave the grass, um, not the bit that I'm getting rid of, but the grass in the middle of here, we're going to leave as actual grass, the original. Oh, wow. 
whoopsies. <laughs> we're going to leave that as grass there. But then we're just going to do one bit around the outside because then it makes it just look like a little bit more, I guess, like intentional as a, an exhibit. So this is going to be filled in there. Then, yeah, there's going to be two uh, blocks of grass around this side here. Uh, but then uh, we're going to do the same uh, pattern of granite uh, in the inside there. Where This is like a teleporting goat. Wherever I turn, wherever I go to build, the goat is, is just standing there. I already love the goat. I've already fallen in love with the, the goat. And then, of course, here... Uh, where well, you can just see that uh, that dirt, there's going to be a staircase. So let me fill in the outside here. Let me kind of mark where the uh, the staircase is going to like start and end. And then I'm going to leave my happy helpers to carry on building down there. And I am going to go and build a, a big tower up on the uh, the top of the, the building, which we're going to carry on doing in a little bit. So uh, yeah, the stores are just going to be made out of this, uh, this andesite. And basically they're going to start uh, in a row along here like this and go all the way along down there like that. And then we can also carry on the same uh, pattern. And so this like granite um, line uh, can continue down going in the staircase. But let me just mark where it's going to be. Then I'm going to head upstairs because we've got quite a lot to, to do today. So right, does that all make sense? Oh, where is everyone? Are they, are they building? Okay, they're building down there. Does, does that all make sense, what I'm doing? If you just carry on the staircase and just do like the little bit going down? Of course it makes sense. Polly's like, yes, it does. <laughs> Look at the goat following her around. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go upstairs. I'm gonna go upstairs and start uh, doing this tower. So, um, you, sh you should probably stay here. Cause sorry, I know it's a bit boring. So you go inside, and you can go and chill out inside of here, and you can spend some time with the chicken and the goat and the sheep and the reindeer and the beaver and whatever else decides to show up inside of our museum today. I thought I was building a museum. It's turned out to be a zoo. <laughs> so yeah, what we're gonna have at the top here is a big old tower. And then on the top of the tower, there's going to be a uh, like a stampy style color flag. And oh yeah, you must also notice there's a giant hole in the roof here. Uh, that is intentional. This is going to be a, a glass window, like a skylight. It's going to cover that entire area, and it's just going to fill the entire place full of light. I think it's going to look awesome. Uh, so right then, uh, let's build the uh, the tower. So if you want to build it yourself, line it up with this little pokey out bit here, which kind of marks the middle of this area of the wall. And you go one, two, and then you build the first part here like that. You go across by three. Here, there is going to be some terracotta, uh, like that there. And then it's going to go across by, I think, by two here. And then terracotta. And then by, oh, no, not that. It's meant to be sandstone. This is just normal sandstone by three. Once again, we have a gap by two there. And then we go terracotta. Then we go boom, boom, boom. So that's kind of the shape of the tower. I'm actually also going to dig out the middle. Because it's probably going to be, oh, whoops. My pickaxe is, like, too efficient. If you make if you make the tiniest mistake, you just, like, end up falling down. But, uh, yeah, I want it so you can look up through the tower on the inside. Because we're going to have some windows on the tower as well. So they should add some light in there uh, as well. So there we go. That's the, uh, the base of the tower. Uh, we now need to go 13 blocks up. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Uh, so it doesn't really matter exactly, but that's kind of what I thought looked like a, a good height. I know I'm doing this badly, actually, because I'm going <laughs> to keep getting hurt every time I drop down. So it's probably a smarter idea just to go around like this. And I think I'm just going to fill in the whole tower as it is and then add the windows afterwards like it would absolutely make more sense to build the windows as i go but like i'm just really like bad at building and i just get confused like i i much rather build like a big flat surface and then add the detail to it afterwards rather than do it as i go just because like i just get confused very easily as you've uh, probably noticed if you've been <laughs> watching my videos uh, for a while uh so how much high do we need to go uh, a decent bit higher uh, but then this way i'm not dropping down and getting hurt loads every every single time I do it. And then, yeah, there's going to be two rows of windows and then the big flag uh, waving on the, the top. And then that will be everything in terms of the outside uh, of the uh, the museum complete. We will, fingers crossed, be able to get that all today. And then the next thing uh, is going to be filling it up with all of the, the exhibits where I kind of mentioned a little bit in the last episode. It's basically going to be me going out on a journey and, like, looting all of my own stuff. Basically picking, like... I don't know, just memorable things and objects and things that I want to display. I want to do like a big map as well of like the different areas of my lovely world on the, the wall. And then I'm going to like write up like little plaques next to them, which is going to explain like what they are. Like I want this to be a thing where it's not just for people that already know all this stuff. Like I'd want someone who has no idea about my lovely world and like the history of my lovely world uh, just to go and have a look at it and kind of know exactly uh, what's going on. I know oh, this is going to be a great place to see the sunset. Oh, it's so dramatic. Well, with the ray tracing, like going on like the snow and stuff. 
This actually would be quite a nice lookout point. At the moment, there's no way to actually like properly get in the tower. But seeing as it's like such a nice view to like go and see over all of my house and stuff, it almost seems like a bit of a shame that you can't go in the tower. Maybe that's something that I could change a little bit, uh, a little bit later on, maybe. Uh, but right now, I need to do the top of the tower, and I'm not a hundred percent sure how I'm going to do this, but uh, I'm just going to kind of fill it in so we have a, a flat top eventually. Uh, but I'm going to do some like half slabs, so it kind of slopes up at first. So let's make some. Let's just do like normal sandstone half slabs, and maybe if I do like one bit going around there and then I guess in the middle I could do like blocks uh poking up a little bit uh taller and then I'm going to do uh some fences uh, and then that's what the uh, the flag is going to be coming out of so uh, let's go make a, a few more slabs that's probably too many but oh well I've got enough sandstone it's okay no it's getting dark actually um or if I fill in that with blocks do you think that would look okay I think that would look all right wouldn't it have I done this all symmetrical? I'm kind of improvising, which is always a dangerous <laughs> thing for, for me to, to do. So let's do that there. And I wasn't one of these like a full block. Was it that one? I think I think it might have been that one. I'm not sure. But one of these was a full block. But uh, I guess I can check from the uh, the underneath. Uh, I'm going to put down some... Oh, no, I'm not going to put down some torches. I don't have any torches. So I'm going to keep building in the dark, I guess. I guess like at least I'm safe up here. At least I'm like safer away from uh, <laughs> from all of the googlies is the, uh, is the good thing. So I think six fence poles should probably be just about enough. So I'm going to do the fence pole coming out from here. I need a block just so I can stand up to pile up. And then, yeah, it's going to be the standard stampy flag. You can see it's absolutely all over the place, the, uh, the stampy flag. But I'm going to try and do it as if it's, like, uh, waving in the, the wind. Because if you do it as just, like, one completely, like, flat area, it always just looks like just a bit fake like it looks like it's made out of like plastic or something so I want to kind of do it as if it's actually blowing in the wind so if I just go out by oh, this is quite awkward so if I just do all of the bottom row and then I can like build up so if I do that one there like that and then if I then go back and then go across by like uh, maybe three this time and then place that there and then maybe go across by like two here possibly or maybe three again uh, would I then have enough to build at the top? How many is here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, oh no, I need one more. Oh no, how am I gonna- actually, if I grab this one, then it won't fall down. Please don't fall down, please don't fall down. I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay, so there we go. I'm gonna have the exact right amount of blocks as I need. So if I go and do that there, let's break away the dirt while I'm here, because that's the sort of thing I could forget about. And then <laughs> and then that's just left there, and it's really annoying. So yeah, this should hopefully look like a lovely flag that's blowing in the, the wind. So there we go, this is the uh, the tower done. Let's break away this block. Uh, let's grab my axe, and we can broke, uh, break away the, the crafting table. And then I need a way down. I think I'll just take the, uh, the painful way down. I can survive at once. So uh, let me go step back a little bit, and let me kind of show you what this... Uh, this whole building is looking like so far. And then I'm going to go ahead uh, back up to the roof and I'm going to do the, the big glass dome. Oh, it looks nice at night when it's glowing as well, doesn't it? So yeah, that's what the, the tower looks like. Oh, I haven't had the windows yet. But tell you what, what I'll do is I'll mark out kind of how the uh, the big... Oh, let's just run away. Just run away. Just run away. No, oh, don't. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Why am I using my fist rather than a sword? Right, let's just take him out. Um, yeah, what well, Oh, that was <laughs> a skeleton. I want to get up. I want to get up to safety. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kind of mark out how this place is going to be. And then I can add the uh, the windows in the uh, in the other place. Uh, so yeah, we're going to use terracotta uh, again. Uh, you can kind of see the uh, the theme of the uh, the materials that we're using, uh, just to to kind of do like a frame. And then the whole like inside area is going to be a, a bunch of glass. So uh, I'm going to start the first bit here. Uh, we basically go up by two, and then we go in by one. Then we go up by two, and then we do a single block here. We then go across by two. So if I just place that dirt there. One, two, uh, we then go up, and then we go across by a lot, and I'm not entirely sure how much we go by, so I'm just going to do a little bit, and then I'm going to do the same on the other side, and just do it until it uh, until it meets up. So once again, we go up by two. Oh, what was that? Was that you? Oh, oh was it a fat? Oh, was it? Oh, is this? Is this skeleton? Oh no! I said I've got a bow and arrow. <laughs> Is anyone got a bow? No, I think we're just gonna get shot at. Well, I am gonna be going up there in a bit to do the windows. Maybe I'll um, I'll do some googly clearing out while I'm up there. <laughs> oh no, be careful, Polly! You're gonna get shot. Be careful. There's like a sniper on the top of the tower. It's brutal. Right, so then we go in by one. And then we go across by two. And then yeah, this next one. There we go. Lines up perfectly like that. So then. 
This whole section here, uh, as you can kind of see, has been started. I love the way I'm just carrying on building and they're going on this mad like <laughs> mission to take out the skeleton. Uh, yeah, so this whole front bit here be filled in with glass like that. But then also it's going to stretch out all the way down here. Uh, it's actually good because I can grab some of these torches and I might be able to use them on the tower instead. And so basically just along from where the terracotta is, this is going to stretch the whole way across. So it's probably easier... Uh, to do the glass the whole way along, and then we can just place the uh, the terracotta on it once we reach the uh, the other side. So this is going to go all the way along there like that. And then it's going to be glass all the way along there, and all the way along there, and all the way along there like that. So there we go. So while my helpers go and start uh, filling some of that stuff in, uh, yeah, let's go add the, the windows in. So uh, we're going to kind of do the same style windows that we've done down there. So I'm just going to do a, um, a half slab uh, sandstone there, and then I'm going to do a block. Oh, wait, no, that's not right, because this needs to be on like the top of that block then there's going to be uh like a double little window like that uh let's go and build up and fill in the the glass and then there's going to be the same just oh wrong one see t t told you i get confused didn't i so yeah glass there like that and then if we do like a gap of two and then do the next one there does that kind of fill in about right that looks okay and then we're just going to go and do the uh, the same on the the other side so uh, not a great example now seeing it's the middle of the night but when it is daytime those windows should kind of let light into the the rest of the uh, the room down in the the lobby which is the uh, the idea like this is definitely going to be a place which is going to look way better in the daytime like with ray tracing sometimes things look better in the night sometimes they look better in the day I think this is definitely going to be one of the ones where everything looks better in the day just because there's like this, these giant windows like it's going to be like quite dramatic on the uh, the inside once it's uh, it's all finished I should probably add some torches in as well I guess if I do one at the top on each of the the sides uh, should be enough to, to keep it kind of lit up so let's go and uh, build up here and then we can go and place this torch uh, I guess I just do it on the front side there, and then I go do the others, and then uh, I can help the uh, help the helpers uh, go and finish building in the rest of the window, and then I think in terms of the outside of the museum, it should be uh, should be about done. I was just about to say that we got it done quite quickly, but I will be honest, I did do quite a lot of it outside of the episode just because I thought it would get so repetitive and so boring. And I know there's some people that are always like hate it when I do stuff without filming, so they want to see me build everything. But I think for most people, like if you saw be building like this wall and this wall and this wall and just adding in loads of windows it would get like really really boring really fast because it's mainly just like big flat windows i guess i'll go and like show you them all because uh, i haven't really shown you them all properly but yeah there's just these giant windows all the way around the uh, the outside and no i haven't actually had a proper look on the inside it look i mean i know there's a bunch of zombies in there like staring at us from the inside but it looks cool doesn't it right let's go let's go get the rest of this um this glass done and then we're going to have a, a proper look on the uh, the inside if i do this i can kind of pull my way up Oh, it looks like someone's done the terracotta on that side. That's good. And it shouldn't actually take too long because even though it's like quite a big area it's just like big long straight lines which is always like the uh, the easiest thing to to like build in minecraft because you can kind of just like hold down the left trigger and kind of just step backwards and just uh uh fill it all in uh, really really quickly and then hopefully if we time this rightly time it rightly if we time it i think i said a mix between timing it right and timing it correctly but yeah if we time it well, <laughs> it should be just about to be sunrise uh, as we finish building this, and we better go into the inside and we see all the uh, the light shining in, and then you'll get a, a good idea of what the uh, the blank canvas is going to be uh, for what this museum is going to, to look like uh, before we go and start adding everything in. And uh, I can't wait to show you all of the stuff. I spent so long just literally just like wandering around my lovely world, just like thinking about what I'm going to, to steal to put in here, like what would be like interesting, like what would fit in here. And there's some like big things as well. Like there's some like smaller things, like literally individual box and stuff. But then there's uh, some quite big builds that we're going to be rebuilding. But just because the actual like museum is so huge in itself, there's like enough space to, to fit all of this stuff in. So right, let's break away this dirt now because that's the sort of thing I could forget about and ends up staying there for ages. And all we have, we have timed it, what I say, rilectly, whatever I said early. <laughs> we've timed it well and it is oh it's so dramatic it's so dramatic the sunrise right let's go down let's go down we go back with gregory jr on the inside and we can see uh how dramatic it's gonna be i will get my sword out because i think there's probably still a few goods oh there they're burning away but look how dramatic this is isn't this such a cool room and so the reason i did this floor is it kind of just looks like the sort of floor you'd expect in a museum anyway but it's also like really reflective and shiny so like yes you can see as the light goes to like shine down it reflects on the the floor as well and the why is the goat on the roof <laughs> why is the goat isn't there like a 
Isn't there like a nursery rhyme or like a poem or something about a goat being on the roof of a house? Isn't that isn't that a thing? Or am I making it? Or, or am I thinking of like the cow jumping over the moon? I don't know. But there's a goat on top of my house. Please just stay there. Please just always just be on top of the uh, the house. That that would be amazing. Oh no, don't go. Don't drop down. Okay, no, they're staying there. So yeah, uh, I kind of I kind of just want to leave it as a big empty room just because it looks so dramatic. But no, we won't. In the next episode, we will come in here. Uh, I think what I'll do because there is going to be a second floor up there and a big staircase here. I'll build that between episodes just to get that all done and ready. Uh, and then we'll come in and kind of start filling it uh, all up with uh, all of the uh, the important things. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be the end of this episode here. Thank you all so much for, for watching. Uh, thank you to my helpers for uh, yeah building this so amazingly quickly. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all here in the next episode. Bye!